What's going on guys and welcome back to Sons of the Forest. If you're clicking on this video right now, you're more than likely have seen my recent video regarding the 1000 Kelvins I added to the game. And if you have not seen that video, I will put a timestamp up in the corner and a link in the description if you want to go and check it out. But today I want to show you how you can do that, plus a lot more stuff in your game as well. So for example, if you want to take screenshots of your world, because one, it's absolutely beautiful, and two, you could be a content creator wanting to make thumbnails, but you don't want the user interface in the way, all you need to do is press the F1 key and then click Show UI and then just turn that off. And as you can see, my user interface has now gone off. You can still interact with like the likes of Kevin and all that kind of stuff. I can still go up to these and still access them if you know the button to open them. So you could immerse yourself into this world if you know your keybinds. And then if I want to add another Kelvin, all I'm going to do is press F1, then type add character. It will automatically fill out. Just press the tab key and then just put R or B B Y as in Robbie space one. Bam. And now that has given us another Kelvin. So you can do that multiple times uh, until you get your desired amount. Or you could type 40 and get 40 of them. <laughs> and how you actually do this is you want to install a program called Thunderstore Mod Manager. And this has got so many games on it. You might have used it, for example, like Valheim. And you just want to scroll down and click Sons of the Forest. As soon as you click this, you select Select Game, select the profile. And then you can go into this tab, which is Get Mods. And you can just basically add the mods you want. So if you want a better UI, if you want faster inventory panning, if you want auto save into the game. Uh, but this, the one you mainly want is Debug Console. So you want to go to this website right here, which will be in the description below. And I'll even pin it as the top comment in the comment section. Just click download. There's nothing special. You need to do that. Just install it directly into the drive you prefer. You don't need to alter any files. You don't need to do any of that sort of thing. It's just a one click install. Once that's done, you will get taken to this page right here. And then when you've got this, all you need to do is click on the one you want. So for example, if you want the autosave, you click on that, you click download, bada bing, bada bosh. And then once you go over to your mods, this is where your mods will be shown. You can turn them off here, you can disable them. And just as a bit of a heads up, the autosave does save every five minutes and it will uh, create a new save spot every time. It doesn't automatically overwrite your current save. It adds a new save. But I highly do recommend the faster inventory panning if you want to move around your inventory a lot quicker because it is super slow. I wish there was a form of changing that within game, but there isn't. So for now, there is this one right here. And then once you've got this installed, every time you want to play the game modded, you just click up here, click modded. Or if you want to play vanilla, you can click this one right here. So if as soon as you click modded, this screen will come up and then your CMD will launch and start doing its thing and then your game will launch as well. But just as a heads up, people can access the debug console if they are joining your server or joining your multiplayer session and they have this activated. So if you go into a friend's session, you're able to access these. So obviously do what you will, but I'm just giving you a heads up if you are owner of a server or something like that. Once your game launches, you just do whatever you do. You go into single player, go into multiplayer. And just to show you what happens, as you can see right here, these are all the auto saves that was happening every five minutes and it does create a second one. So just please be careful about that. I've disabled it because it was a bit spammy in my uh, in the load game section. I thought it might over, uh, it might save over the one previously it did, but it doesn't. And then when you get back into game, like I say, you just press the F1 key and then this menu comes up here. Go through all of these. Obviously, there's some things you might not understand. There will be some things that you will. For example, I can type in here trees, uh, cut all, and I can just type in a number and it'll have a brief pause real quick. And then there you go. As you can see, it's now removed a big circle around my area. So for example, if you wanted to do go into creating mode and you wanted to build a big house, but you had to remove all the trees, you can highly do this. Or for example, if you are a content creator, as a content creator myself, I know how long it can take for you to set up a build or to set up a video just it's going to take weeks, but doing this sort of stuff will speed up your process uh, and help you a lot and get so you can get a lot more videos out there 
and all that stuff. But also, if you're interested in supporting me over on Spotify, we are very, very close to hitting 5,000 monthly listeners, and I've released two albums, and yes, they are copyright, DMCA free, so you can use them in your own YouTube videos, your own Twitch streams. Go ahead and enjoy them. Share them with your community, and I've got a whole Chill Step playlist here if you're interested, which is all the songs that are combined onto one whole playlist by itself. And yes, the music you can hear in the background is from my album as well. So do me a favor, head over into the description and go and listen to it. Let me know what you think. And if you're interested in that kind of stuff, vibe out to it into the forest. So yeah, you can do a lot more stuff with this. It's a very, very powerful tool. Obviously you are accessing the dev commands and all that kind of stuff. Um, so just be careful with what commands you do here and play around with stuff. But I highly recommend like the show UI. The remove trees if you want to do all that stuff. Add Virginia uh, in case you wanted to do a Virginia and then do that. And then Bob's your uncle. Virginia is now in your vicinity. She will spawn as a fresh spawn. So you will need to get a trust. So for example, I'm currently working on a video right now that's going to require 100 Virginias. And I'm currently training them over and over again. And it's taking some time. And also everybody's pet peeve within the game. As, the, as you know, the caves are extremely dark. And yeah, the, it's a cave. It's meant to be dark. But some people might not like it. And you can go into here, type in cave light on, and as you can see, it nearly flashbangs you, but you've got a lot more light if you wanted to. So here's another feature that it allows you to do. And if I wanted to turn it off, obviously cave light off, and it will turn it off again. Some other cool features, but I am going to advise you of spoilers right now, because I am going to open my inventory, and there's going to be items you might not know that's in the game, so I highly recommend clicking off now if you don't want to see any form of spoilers if you are still playing the game yourself. Okay? Three, two, one. This also means you can spawn in every single item in the game if you wanted to, in case, like I said, you're doing a creative mode build, and you don't want to go and do this because you've played many hours, and you just want to get to some building and play with the new building mechanics, which I love, and are amazing. But yeah, as you can see, I've got new enough every single item in the game, including heads and all that good stuff. All your armors down here, your, all that stuff, so... Yep, I highly recommend that one if you're doing a creative mode as well. But also, you know, if you want to go from A to B, and you want to get somewhere fast just type in speedy run on this will turn on speedy run then you could become the flash <laughs> so you can run around it's a little bit disorientating so obviously if i don't even know if there's head bob movement but you can turn that off and yeah obviously make sure you turn god mode on because that's a thing as well so you don't have anything like that because i don't even think you've got time to pull your book out to make sure you don't have that fall damage but it's a little bit disorientating, but you can see I'm flying, kind of, and then died. <laughs> so yeah, check out my other content right here, guys. You might like some of the uh, Sons of the Forest stuff that I'm making. I'm doing like a story-based uh, series right now, so come and check that out if you want to. And uh, yeah, and uh, I will see you in another video. And if you've liked this video, remember to like, subscribe, and also leave a comment, even if it's just an emoji. And as always, keep smiling.